Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Earthling Nutrition. Thank you so much for joining me once again today. So today's topic, I am going to discuss a viewer's question about whether fasted exercise compromises your muscle stores. This person was concerned that doing cardiovascular activities on an empty stomach would use energy from the muscles and basically eat away your muscles if you were exercising on an empty stomach. So in this video, I'm going to explain why strategic fasted exercise will not compromise your muscles. So when your blood glucose levels are low, such as in the fasted state, our body is using glycogen and fat for energy. When our heart rate is engaged in low to moderate activities, our bodies can efficiently use fat from our adipose tissue as fuel, but only when carbohydrates are available. This may seem a little counterintuitive since I've explained in other videos that we want our blood glucose levels to be low so that insulin does not interfere with our hormone-sensitive lipase, which is the enzyme responsible for breaking down our stored triglycerides into free fatty acids to be used for energy. But we actually do need sustainable amounts of carbohydrates in order for free fatty acids to enter the citric acid cycle. Let me explain. So when insulin levels are low in the blood, hormone-sensitive lipase breaks apart the triglycerides stored in our adipose cells, our fat cells, into free fatty acids. Free fatty acids are long chains of carbons. Now a process called beta-oxidation will split these free fatty acids into units of acetyl-CoA, and these join with oxaloacetate, which is a carbohydrate-derived molecule, to form a now four-carbon molecule, and this is enough carbons to allow into the citric acid cycle. The citric acid cycle, or Krebs cycle, provides us oh, wow, that was loud. Well, provides us with ATP by removing the carbons one at a time. So our body is only able to burn fat when there are carbohydrates available. The reason why we do fasted exercise is because we don't want to have a high blood glucose level caused by our food. When our glycogen in our muscles are broken down to provide glucose, the insulin response is a lot lower, and hormone-sensitive lipase is not fully desensitized. So this process starts to become inefficient when our glycogen stores begin to deplete. We still need carbohydrates, we still need glucose molecules in order to oxidize our fat. So then where does this glucose come from? So our bodies can actually convert muscles, the amino acids in our muscles, into glucose via a process known as gluconeogenesis. And at this point, the energy that fuels our exercise will be coming from our muscles and from our fats. Because our muscles cannot break down fast enough to provide enough glucose, we start to go into ketosis. Ketones are an alternative fuel source that will fuel our activities despite there being an energy insufficiency. Now the grand message to take away is that we do not want to be exercising to glycogen depletion. We can lose fat without resorting to muscle. And this is why I recommend that you guys eat starches throughout the day. So your glycogen stores can build up and they will not be depleted even after fasting all night. You still will have enough to provide sufficient amounts of oxaloacetate in order to oxidize your fat stores. And this process is not stressful for the body unlike ketosis. We want lipolysis, the breakdown of fat for energy, not gluconeogenesis and not ketosis. So my answer to this person's question about whether fasted exercise will break down your muscles for energy is no, it won't, as long as you are consuming starches throughout the day and have glycogen built up. It is a lot harder to build glycogen on fruit, so this is why I do recommend that your first two meals of the day, breakfast and lunch, and snacks in between as well, contain starch-based carbohydrates. This way there will be glycogen for your body to draw upon during exercise, your blood glucose levels will be lower than if you had eaten breakfast before you went, and of course, I recommend that you exercise at an intensity of 65% VO2 max and its corresponding heart rates. If you'd like to learn more about Fruit After 4 and how it can improve your digestibility, affordability, convenience, energy quality, and fat loss on a high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle, you can check out my ebook. The link is in the description box below. If you guys would like to connect with others doing Fruit After 4, you can join our Facebook group, Fruit After 4, and search up hashtag Fruit After 4 on Instagram. If you got anything out of this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a wonderfully abundant day, guys, and see you next video. Bye. Beyond compare with flaming locks of vibe and hair and ivory skin and eyes.
ますよね。